Okay, so today I want to share an interesting case with you all. I got a time over a cup of tea and again I am trying to record in a cafe and you see the owner of the cafe has allowed me to record here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this was a geriatric uh, fellow somewhere of the age uh, 65 or 70 and um, uh, he presented with history of syncope. Uh, two three days back and he was referred to us uh, uh, he was referred to in our hospital and on admission he was in complete heart block chb on echo their lv was a uh, little bit down so we thought that this is a degenerative uh, complete heart block and uh, the patient may require pacemaker sort of thing then the cardiologist asked us to send a troponin so, Dr. Klesh Jain, you must have seen him in my previous videos. So, so I had a discussion with him. It, Sir, the patient didn't have any chest pain. He presented with syncope. Now, on ECG, there are no signs of ischemia. There is no STEMI or NSTEMI sort of thing. So, why are we sending troponin in this patient? And what difference it will make? So, he said that this is the first time the patient has presented with syncope. There was no previous history. No previous ECG for that matter to compare. And if the troponin comes out to be positive, means if it is an acute MI, then we need to look at the vessels and do an angiography. And it is possible if we open up the vessel, this uh, block may go away. So I was not convinced. I, logically, I was convinced, but on the presentation of the patient, I thought the troponin will come normal. So ultra sensitive troponin was sent, and it was the report uh, should be less than. Uh, 19 in that particular patient uh, means it should be less than 19 to be negative so it was an ultra sensitive one so when uh, and if it is more than uh, 19 that means 19 uh, uh, it's an mi so we send the troponin and it turned out to be more than 5000 so it was an acute mi then the patient was taken for angiography then there was a block blockage in the rca uh, right coronary artery then the right coronary uh, artery angioplasty was done and the patient who presented with uh, complete heart block became stable there was ectopic rhythm and then gradually gradually over a period of three four days it, it turned, came to be first degree heart block and he was stable enough and then he said that we'll be discharging on first degree heart block which is a benign sort of thing and we'll follow up this patient it's quite possible that this First degree heart block may also go away. Even if it doesn't go away, this patient will not require CH uh, pacemaker at this stage. So the point is, I'll I'll post both the ECGs after this finishing up, wrapping up, the images of both the ECG. But the point is, whenever you see a complete heart block, always try to rule out the ischemia in the ischemic component. Whether it is complete heart block is because of the ischemia, because if it is due to ischemia, then there are possibilities if we correct the ischemia the patient's heart block may go away. So now go and read the complete heart block in ischemic condition or complete heart block in MI, especially in right coronary arteries. So thank you and do read more about it. Thank you.